iOS 18.3.1 review, features, changes, and more. Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to give you a complete review of iOS 18.3.1, covering all the new features, changes, and improvements. Whether you're wondering if it's worth updating or just curious about what's new, make sure to watch till the end. So let's dive in. iOS 18.3.1 has just officially been released, which is quite interesting considering that iOS 18.3 was only launched a few weeks ago. While it's great to see Apple consistently launching updates to improve performance and security, what's frustrating is the lack of transparency regarding what exactly is being changed. Apple's change logs have been pretty vague, making it difficult for users to understand what improvements or fixes are included in these updates. One key detail to note is the size of this update. For me, it came in at around 374.1 megabytes, which isn't the largest update we've seen, but is still a decent size, suggesting that it contains multiple fixes or improvements. However, the main issue is Apple's approach to these updates. According to their official notes, this update provides important bug fixes and security updates and is recommended for all users. While that sounds good on the surface, it doesn't really tell us much about what's actually been changed or improved, leaving users guessing about what's new. Now, that's a good thing, and it's always reassuring to see Apple continuing to roll out updates. But the problem is, we don't really know exactly what has been fixed or improved in this update. Apple has simply labeled it as containing bug fixes and improvements, which doesn't give users much clarity on what's actually changed. Even if you tap on the official link provided within the update description, it doesn't reveal much additional information. It essentially repeats the same vague statement, mentioning security updates and minor fixes without specifying exactly what issues were addressed. This leaves users guessing about what improvements they might experience after updating their devices. This issue involved a potential physical attack that could disable USB restricted mode on a locked iPhone. Essentially, the vulnerability allowed certain devices to be plugged into an iPhone potentially bypassing security measures and restricting access in unexpected ways. This concern was initially reported a few weeks ago, and Apple has now implemented a fix to ensure that USB restricted mode functions as intended. With this update, users can feel more secure knowing that their iPhones are better protected against unauthorized physical access. It seems that this issue has now been properly fixed and addressed in this update, which is definitely great news. With this fix in place, users can have more confidence in the security of their devices. That being said, it will take some time to fully determine if there are any other minor adjustments or under the hood changes that Apple hasn't explicitly mentioned. However, based on what we can see so far, it's pretty clear that this update does not introduce any new features. There are no additional settings, enhancements to Apple intelligence, or major usability improvements included in this release. Instead, this update primarily focuses on bug fixes, security patches, and overall system stability, ensuring that iOS continues to run smoothly and securely for users. This is definitely something worth nothing. One issue I've consistently noticed across all iOS 18 versions is the delay when opening the Settings app. As soon as I launch it, it takes an unusually long time for the icons to fully load, making the interface feel sluggish. Even now, with this latest update, the icons still take a while to refresh, which makes the experience feel a bit rough around the edges. It's unclear why this happens, but visually it doesn't look great. While apps themselves seem to open without any noticeable lag, this specific issue with the Settings app persists. Apple really needs to address this because it's frustrating to see the icons constantly reload every time the app is launched. This wasn't a problem in earlier iOS versions, but it's something I've observed throughout iOS 18. When it comes to the release of iOS 18.4, there's no official confirmation just yet. Since iOS 18.3.1 was just released today, we can only speculate on the timeline for the next update. Based on Apple's past patterns, we could potentially see iOS 18.4 rolling out around mid-March, possibly as early as March 3rd. That's all for this video. 
If you found this review helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates on the latest iOS releases. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.